Let's give them a big round of applause. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude to, you know, sort of like point and all that, but basically um, I wanted to get a message across. But um, before I get that message across, which really falls under the principles of what I'm going to be talking about today, I want to tell you about what this is. So um, it's called performance intelligence, and it's something I've been building in my head for the past three years, and I'm hitting my third year. Actually, I'm going to get to that third year, and um, I, you know, it's it's actually going to happen in January, and I'm really really excited about it. Um, it's basically the world's most technologically advanced acting school. Uh, I went to acting school in London, and I've worked in Russia, been to acting schools there, worked with a lot of actors. Um, and, you know, actors are everywhere. For entertainment, you know, most people don't really have to train. And that's fine, but really, um, when you're talking about dramatic arts, you know, you send... Has, any, has anybody gone for formal acting training or informal? Can I see a raise of hands? You know, have you done any theatre and, you know, have they taught you like voice work, movement work? Has anybody done that? Yeah? So basically, these, this is formalised training and basic stuff that you need to know about acting. But we do it in depth. Now, there are rules and principles to it, but what we do is we teach you the same thing, but we use technology to aid us and help you become more efficient, systematic actors. So. Uh, it's called table work. It is um, the thought process and the structure that an actor has and builds before he enters a character. For example, you get to play Romeo today, right? How do you know how to become Romeo? You don't just take your script, read it, and then say the lines. It's not like that. You have to understand the character. You have to ask yourself the, yourself the right questions in order for you to really see the character in your mind step into it, and then you become that character. So it really is a framework. It's kind of like Facebook, but instead of working on your own profile, you're working on your character's profile. And you can do this for multiple profiles. And all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, they have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his life plays many parts. And that's very true because I'm talking to you differently right now as I would when I go home and speak to my mom and when I speak to my best friend, I'm like, uh, you know, and then like when I speak to my teacher, I'm like, yeah, you know. So it's like, it's different. We play many parts and that's what table work is all about, putting us in the frame of mind. But let's go back to the first principle. But, you know, let's, let's talk about acting in general. I'm not really here to talk about table work because that's that, okay? I want to teach you guys a bit of acting, because we are all actors. There's an actor inside of us. Can you agree to that? Yeah. All right, so let's do some formal training right here, very simple ones. Why I did what I did just now with those two gentlemen is because the first thing you need to understand is that you don't need to speak in order to communicate. And more importantly, voice is movement. Now, I know most of you have heard like, oh, yes, you know, you have a signature voice. Her voice is so distinct and this, that, the other. And of course, two people may sound the same, but there's this one, you know, the sort of like thing, very dramatic. And it's true, but if you come to think of it, what is voice? It's vibrations. It is energy. And how it's created is your diaphragm drops, your lungs expand, your chest expands, your back expands, and it fills up with air, right? Don't believe me, it's do this thing, it's called breathing. It's and that's it. You've taken in energy and you've exhaled energy. But what you want to do now is connect two larynx, which is like, well, your larynx, two, not two, it's only one, but it comes in a pair. But basically, what happens is you sort of like just connect these two larynx here and it vibrates the sound, and that's what creates it. So I want all of you to try this. Just, just take a deep breath, all right? Let's all take a deep breath. In. And exhale. And in. And exhale. Now I want you to consciously connect your larynx when you release it. It should sound like this. Ha. Uh, 
Let's all try this, all right? So take a deep breath in. Ha. How's that feel? Huh? It's a movement. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, anyways, but this is one of the principles that you need to know as an actor. That when you want to communicate something, you want to tell a story, you want to try it in your most minimal position, you want to save your energy. And when you use your voice, you use your voice properly. Let's take this for example. Innovation from ideas to impact. I'm going to ask you a question. In this line, innovation from ideas to impact, what do you think is the most important word? Impact. Nice. All right. What about you? What do you think is the most important word? Sorry? What? Ideas. Okay. You know, you're not wrong. But for an actor's mindset, the most important word is two. I'm not even kidding. To encourage, to taunt, to seduce. These are all actions. It's, it's fundamental that an actor can only play actions. An actor cannot at all play emotions. Let's take it with this, for example, right? This is my line. Innovation from ideas to impact. Fine. I'm going to do it um, with an emotion. Somebody throw me an emotion. Give me a word. What? Sad. Sad. Okay, right, so I'm going to play, like, you know, sad. I'm going to emo emotionalize this. What I'm doing is I'm changing my heart rate. I'm using emotional memory for a time that wasn't very nice for me. And I'm going to say innovations from ideas to impact. So what? So what? It, did I affect you at all? You laughed. It was more funny than anything else, right? Exactly, because that's what you see in normal, you know, TV stuff, and that's rubbish. But if I were to affect somebody, to, 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 for example, to seduce, all right? I want you. I want to seduce you. I go, innovations from ideas to impact. I affected her, but I did something. I used to do something. Okay, I'm going to try again. Oh God, what should I use this time? To, you know what, to piss off, to, to belittle, for example. Again, in action, I want to belittle you. Innovation from ideas to impact. I did something. And that is the principle that we must play. Actions, actions, actions. It translates to your lives. You are an actor. You are trying to do something with your life. Whatever it is that you're passionate about. But you have to take action with your life. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to go with principle number three. And it's a pretty simple principle. It's stuff that we have to work on. And as actors, we need to work on our creativity imagination, and attention. So I'm not really going to talk about this, but I rather I want to do this with you. So everybody, on your feet. Come on. You're not going to get it unless you do it. I'm telling you. Plus, it's a great way to sort of like wake up. You know, that sort of like thing. Okay. I want you all to close your eyes. And take a deep breath in. And exhale and in, and exhale. Close your eyes, it works when you close your eyes. Now I want you to imagine a ball in front of your face. Don't tell me what the ball looks like, but you need to know this. This is your table work. This is you knowing exactly what it is that you want to create. A ball, what color is it? What is its texture? Does it have a smell? How big is it? How do you think gravity would affect this ball? Is it heavy? Is it light? 
Now, using your imagination, I want you to strengthen and really see it in front of your face. And the most important part is to hold your attention because I want you to still see it while you open your eyes. See that ball. See what you've created. See what you've imagined. And now I want you to take that ball and I want you to take a good look at it. Do you see it? Can you believe it? Now I want you to throw that ball away as far as you can. See how it falls, see how gravity affects it and see it disappear. Guys, your ideas and your imagination and what it is that you want to create is all based on these principles. If you can't see or you can't creatively imagine what it is that you want, how are you going to hold your attention to get it? And more importantly, how are you going to take action for it? And this is the work of an actor. I started this idea because I was kind of I was kind of upset that a lot of people think that actors are wishy-washy people. That, you know, oh yeah, it's acting, you know. <sighs> no, it's not. It really is hard work. It's professional work. And hopefully by building a school that can quantify through, you know, physics and computer science, we can take it there. So, that's what table work is all about. And that's what performance intelligence is all about. But I don't want you to sit down. I'm going to leave you with a final exercise. Now everybody close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Deep breath in to your soul. And exhale. And in. And exhale. And in. And exhale. Now I want you to create another ball in front of your face. But this time it's a special ball. It's a ball that's going to hold your dream. So I want you to take a little bit more time to create this. Again, what color is it? What is it made of? What does it smell like? See it, really see it, and treat this one with extra special care. Now I want you to leave that ball for a second, and I want you to come up with an idea an idea that you may have had, um, an idea that you may have been inspired by watching a speaker just now, or something, anything, but something special. And I want you to table work it again. What is this idea? Where did it come from? Where was this idea five minutes ago? Why do you want it? Why do you want it now? What happens if you don't get it? What do you have to go through in order to get this dream, this idea? And what are the actions that you must take in order to get it? Now I want you to combine your idea. Take that idea and put it in this ball. Really merge it with the ball. So you can see your idea being protected by another thing that you created. And now we are going to send this ball out to the universe. But we're going to do that by using the energy of sound. For every sound you make after this, you are sending the idea away into the universe and hopefully it's going to come back to you. We're going to do this together because in numbers we are strong. So take a deep breath. In. I want you to take another deep breath in, but this time use more reverb, use more vibrations in your in your voice. You can and you can push it further with a stronger voice. Take a deep breath in. Oh. 
And with the last breath that you take, you're going to send this and it's going to disappear out into the universe. So take a deep breath. In. Ha. You can open your eyes now. Feeling good? Feeling good?